In this video, we will look at solving equations by completing the square, where we have rational solutions. If we wanted to solve this equation by completing the square, we must set it up to complete the square by first separating the variables and constants, or numbers. Once we've done that, we'll want to get rid of the a, because there was never an a when we completed the square. We will divide everything by a. Once we've done that, we can find c and add it to both sides. Let's take a look at some examples where we can solve an equation by separating the variables, dividing by a, and adding c to both sides. First thing we want to do is separate the variables from the number, so we will subtract 18 because it has no variables on it. We now have 3x squared minus 15x equals negative 18. Our next step is to divide by a so that there is no number in front of the x squared. When we do this, we will divide each term by a as well. We now have x squared minus 5x equals negative 6. Our next step is to find the c. c, we found out, was 1 half times b, or negative 5 squared. This gives us negative 5 halves squared, which is 25 over 4. We are going to add this 25 over 4 to both sides of the equation. When we do that, the left side will now be a perfect square. Taking the square root of the first term, the sine from the middle, and the square root of the last term, which is 5 halves, we can quickly factor it. On the right side, we'll need a common denominator. Multiplying by 4 over 4 gives us negative 24 fourths plus 25 fourths, which is 1 fourth. Notice the resulting equation is easy to solve by taking the square root of both sides to clear the exponents. x minus 5 halves equals, because we took a square root, plus or minus 1 half, taking the square root of the numerator and denominator. We now isolate x by adding 5 halves to both sides, and we get x is equal to 5 halves, plus or minus 1 half. Considering our two answers, x is equal to 5 plus 1, or, three half, or 6 halves, which reduces to 3, or 5 minus 1, 4 halves, which reduces to 2. Our solutions are 3 and 2. Let's take a look at one more example, which we can solve by this complete the square method. In this problem, we'll separate the variables and exponents by moving all the x's over to the right side by subtracting 8x. 32 equals 4x squared minus 8x. We now need to divide by a, making sure there's nothing in front of the x squared. 8 is equal to x squared minus 2x. To find the c that completes the square, we take 1 half of b, or negative 2, and square it. Half of negative 2 is negative 1, squared is 1. We will add this to both sides. Notice when we do, 8 plus 1 is 9, and the right side comes out to a perfect square. Square root of the first term, sine from the middle, square root of the last term. We can quickly solve by taking the square root of both sides, Remembering the plus or minus 3 equals x minus 1. Adding 1 to both sides gives us 1 plus or minus 3 equals x. We can show both of these answers by doing the plus and the minus. 1 plus 3 is 4, and 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Our solutions for x are 4 and negative 2.